Hello, my name is Jack Cambria, former commanding officer of the New York City Police Department's hostage negotiation team. You know, we all have concerns about the events that are going on around us today. Very challenging and difficult times for sure. And there's no one throughout the entire world that has not been impacted by these events. And I'm talking, of course, COVID-19 or the coronavirus scare that's going on around the world. There's a fable, a favorite of mine actually, that I would like to share with you that has helped gotten me through difficult times of stress and concern and certainly challenging times. And it's entitled King Solomon's Ring. And the underlying theme of this story has to do with impermanence, meaning that nothing is really ever permanent. So like the George Harrison song, all things must pass. And it also can serve as a story of hope and inspiration, that things might get better. Please take a listen and see if this has some positive impact upon how you might be feeling right now during these difficult and challenging times. The story goes, King Solomon decided to uh, humble his most valuable and beloved and trusted minister in his court. So he summoned him one day and he said that there's a certain ring that I want you to find for me. Benaiah, the minister, replies, well, your majesty, if this ring does exist, I will, of course, find it for you and bring it to you. Now, King Solomon knew that this ring did not exist but he wanted to send some humility to this very proud minister, Benaiah. He also knew that um, he would not have success in finding this ring because it did not exist. So Benaiah then asked, your majesty, why is this ring so important? And King Solomon responded that it has magical powers. It can make a happy man sad and a sad man happy. So Benaiah set off on his journey. But the one caveat was that he had to have the ring within six months because the king wanted to wear this ring for the high holy Jewish holiday of Sukkot, which was six months away. So as he started the journey, spring became the summer, summer became the fall, and still Benaiah was perplexed that he could not find the ring that, he, that the king was asking for. So the day before Sukkah, the, the high holy holiday, Benaiah decides to take a walk down the most poorest neighborhood of Jerusalem, where he sees a very old merchant who is half blind, setting out his wares for the day on a shabby carpet, wares that he would hope to sell, at least some of anyway, during that day. So Benaiah asked, by any chance, have you ever heard of a magical ring that can make a happy man sad and a sad man happy? The merchant looked down on that shabby carpet, picked up the gold ring, and he inscribed something on it. When Benaiah read the inscription, a smile came to his face immediately and proclaimed, I have the ring that the king wanted. He hurried back to the kingdom where the whole city was now getting ready to celebrate the high holy holiday of Sukkah. When King Solomon saw Benaiah, he summoned him immediately and said, so my, my most beloved uh, minister, have you found the ring that I had sent you for? And King Solomon had a secret smile on his face because he knew that he would not be successful. And when Benaiah says, yes, your majesty, I found the ring and handed it to him, Solomon looked at it. And when he read the inscription, that smile that was on his face certainly turned to a, to a, sad, to a sad face. The inscription said that this too shall pass. At that moment, King Solomon realized that all his wealth his power and, in fact, his entire kingdom would one day be no more.
because this too shall pass. And at one day, he will be turned to dust. So in this case, it made a happy man, the king, sad. So to all of you who have concerns about what's going on today and probably even makes us all a little bit sad, I say to you that this too shall pass. Thank you.